Human error in a at a medical setting is one of the leading causes of death in our country. It takes more of our friends and loved ones than automobile accidents, breast cancer, or AIDS. Yet because of these avoidable tragedies, they happen one by one, they happen over an extended period of time, and they happen over a large, disconnected geographic area. The general public remains benignly ignorant of its pervasiveness. I know if I make a mistake in, 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 my, in my line of work, we have take two. That's what we call take two. You know, a mistake by a healthcare professional that could kill somebody. As I said before, deaths due to medical errors, they happen, they happen one case at a time. And so they tend to slip under the public radar, unless you're a celebrity. So, and in fact, if they were reported at all, they quickly fade away, just another faceless statistic, save for the friends and families who mourn their loved ones. But I'm sure we can all feel the dramatic weight of this silent tragedy. If these 100,000 plus souls were the passengers of doomed airplanes, that would be the equivalent of one commercial airline crash every day of every year. And who could stand for that? So where's the public outcry? My family was the victim recently at as many of you know of an avoidable medical mistake that came close to costing the lives of our newborn twins. And the cause was a chain of human error that was linked from the drug manufacturer to the hospital pharmacy, to the pediatric ward, to the administering nurse who twice overdosed massively, our, uh, massively overdosed our twins over an eight hour period with an anticoagulant drug heparin. Now we were very lucky, although a similar Occurrence happened in Indianapolis about a year and a half before, which killed three infants and injured three others. Our twins survived. And since that horrific time, uh, we have heard from so many friends and strangers alike who come up to us and tell us their story. People who have been or know someone that has been the victim of a tragic medical mistake. It is our hope that your family will not be one of the next victims. And it has galvanized our family to try to do something about this pervasive yet solvable problem. Uh, the first step is an informed public that demands public accountability.